Hello and welcome to the Tech Mojo. This is Nilan and today we will see how to replace the default embedded Tomcat server with a Jetty or Undertow server in Spring Boot. Spring Boot includes support for embedded Tomcat, Jetty and Undertow servers. So this means that you don't need any external web servers and uh, you don't need to deploy a WAR file anymore. The default embedded Tomcat server is available through the Spring Boot Starter web dependency. So if your application is uh, having the Spring Boot Starter web, then the embedded Tomcat server is available uh, by default as a direct dependency of Spring Boot Starter web. However, if you want to replace your Tomcat with Jetty or Undertow servers, then uh, there are some steps you need to do. And in this video, we will see how to do that. So for the demonstration, I have created two projects, uh, one using Maven as a build tool and uh, another project uses Gradle. So first, let's see how to do that in Maven. And then we will also see uh, the Gradle option. Now in the code base, I have a greetings controller and uh, within the greetings controller, I have a endpoint hello uh, exposed to the users. Now when a user is hitting the hello endpoint, it basically prints the hello world. Okay, so let's see that localhost 880 and then hello it prints hello world now we want to remove tomcat and replace with a undertow server now if you want to replace with undertow server two things we need to do uh, let's open your prompt.xml file now within our prompt.xml file we have the spring boot starter web as a dependency now we need to exclude here we need to add some exclusion rules and then we need to exclude our spring boot tomcat to exclusions okay and under exclusions you want to have a exclusion rule and here we need to have group id and artifact id so the group id is org.springframework.boot uh, same again here and your artifact id is going to be spring boot starter tomcat so with this step the default tomcat uh, dependency will be removed now what we want is we want to add a, a new dependency section and uh, we need to specify under tau dependency. So this is what we need to do. So here instead of Spring Boot Starter Web, let's make Spring Boot Starter under tau. Okay, so it is two step process. One is exclude the Tomcat and then include the under tau dependency. So this is all we need to do. Uh, let's sync the project. Okay, so it's all good. Now let's restart our application. So now notice that in the logs, instead of using the Tomcat, uh, it is now saying it uh, started the Undertow server on port 8080. Now let's verify this. Okay. Obviously there is no change, so it is still printing the same thing. But instead of Tomcat, it is now being served by uh, Undertow server. Now this is the step for the Maven project, but if you have a Gradle project, let's see that here. Okay, so in the Gradle project, again, uh, in your Gradle file, you have a dependency section. And in the dependency section for the Spring Boot Startup Web, we want to exclude. Okay, so here we need to write the exclusion rule. Okay, exclude, we need to specify the group. And the group is going to be same as org framework.boot okay and then we need to specify the module okay here we need to say spring boot starter tomcat okay all good so now we have removed the Tomcat uh, dependency. The next step is we want to include the Undertow dependency. So to include the Undertow dependency, similar steps here. So instead of using Spring Boot Startup Web, we call this as Undertow. Okay, so this is all we need to do. Let's sync this project and uh, try to run this application. Okay, now instead of Tomcat, Undertow has started and it is started on port 8080. So this is for uh, the Undertow server. So let's do the same thing for Jetty. 
Now again, I'm going back to my Maven, Maven project. Okay, so we want to replace the Undertow uh, with a Jetty server. And if we have to do that again, same stuff, because we now removing the default Tomcat here. And same step is applicable here as well. So you need to exclude the Tomcat dependency. And uh, here you need to include the Jetty dependency. So instead of Undertow, let's do Jetty. Okay, so this is all you need to do. Now let's resync these dependencies. Okay, so looking good, let's restart the application. Okay, so this is throwing exception because uh, we are using the latest version of Spring Boot and the latest version of Spring Boot basically uh, support servlet 6.0 but the Jetty server that we are using so far Jetty doesn't support servlet API 6.0. So what we need to do is we need to specify our Spring Boot application that we should use the 5.0 version of the servlet API. And to do that, let's add in property. Okay, so here we need to specify 5.0.0. That is all we need to do. Uh, this time around it should work. Let's resync the dependencies and then restart the project now the jetty server started on port 8080 and same thing if we try to test it it is still printing the hello world so this is again a jetty configuration for the maven uh, let's stop this application and we see the same configuration for the gradle as well Okay, so first thing, uh, let's keep this exclusion of Tomcat. Then instead of Undertow, we will replace with Jetty. Okay. By default, if you're using the old version of the Spring Boot, this should be enough. You don't need to do that additional step of specifying the servlet version. But because we are using the latest Spring Boot framework and uh, there is a compatibility issue at this point, you need that additional step here. Here, similar to uh, Maven, what we need to do is we need to specify a property called ext uh, and here within the ext we need to uh, specify the same thing okay uh, jakarta servlet version and here you need to specify 5.0.0 Now let's restart this application. Okay, so as you see, the Jetty server now started on port 8080. This is how you replace the default embedded Tomcat server with a Jetty or a Undertow server. I hope you like this video and if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.